Hey everyone, welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux. Today we dive into the world of open source tech and operating systems. Today we are talking about five incredibly fast free operating systems that can breathe new life into your old hardware or give your modern setup a performance boost. If you got a spare PC, gathering dust or you're just tired of bloated software slowing you down, these options are worth checking out. I'll cover what makes each one speedy, their key features and any caveats based on my research from official sites, user reviews on platforms like X which is formally called Twitter. A quick note, while these are often grouped under Linux distros, one of them, Redux OS, is actually a Unix-like system with its own custom kernel not based on Linux. But it's included here because it's praised for its raw speed. All of these are completely free to download, install, and use on as many machines as you want. So let's jump in. Starting with the speed demons. First up is Redox OS. This one's a bit unique. It's built from the ground up in Rust, a programming language known for its efficiency and safety. And it uses a microkernel architecture instead of the traditional Linux kernel. That means it's not technically a Linux distro, but it's Unix-like and aims to be secure, reliable alternative for desktops and servers. What standouts is its blazing performance, fast boot times, quick I.O. operations, and low resource usage. The desktop version runs on under 512 MB of RAM, and the entire OS image is less than 400 MB, making it highly customizable and efficient. From what I've seen in benchmarks and user feedback, apps launch almost instantly, and the system feels incredibly responsive due to minimal background processors. It comes with essentials like a file manager, terminal, calendar, image viewer, and even a basic web browser like NetSurf, plus media playback tools. However, it's still in early development. At version 0.9.0 as of now. So some features are incomplete and it might not be stable for daily tasks like web browsing or office work. If you are a tinkerer or developer, give it a spin in a virtual machine to experience that next level speed. Download it from the official Redox OS website. Now, next is Linux Lite. This is a true lightweight Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. Designed for simplicity and speed, especially on older hardware. It uses the XFCE desktop environment which is known for being resource efficient and highly customizable without all the fancy animations that can bog down performance. Linux Lite strips away unnecessary bells and whistles, focusing on a clean, no frills experience that boots quickly and runs smoothly even on machines with minimal RAM or slower processors. Out of the box, it includes practical apps like Google Chrome for browsing, LibreOffice for productivity, including tools for databases, GIMP for image editing, VLC for media, and backups with Dejadupe. Users on X often praises it for reviving old laptops, with one calling it lightning fast for everyday tasks. The secret to its speed, optimized code, fewer pre-installed services, and a focus on stability with regular security updates. It's beginner friendly with an intuitive interface, but if you want to tweak themes or layouts, XFCE lets you do that without sacrificing performance. Head to linuxliteos.com to grab the latest ISO. It's free and easy to install. Number three is Ubuntu. If you are familiar with Ubuntu, but want something lighter and faster, Ubuntu is essentially Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop swapped in for GNOME. 
This makes it more efficient on resources, ideal for netbooks, older desktops, or anyone prioritizing speed over eye candy. XFCE is stable, configurable, and doesn't demand much from your CPU or memory, leading to quicker app launches and smoother multitasking compared to heavier environments. Pre-installed software covers the basics. Firefox for web, Thunderbird for email, Library of his suite, Game for graphics, Rhythmbox for music, and tools like Transmission for torrents. Community feedback highlights its reliability on aging hardware, with benchmarks showing it outperforms standard Ubuntu in boot times and responsiveness. The default setup is minimal. A simple panel layout that's easy to navigate, but you can customize it extensively. Just be careful with advanced tweaks, as they could affect usability if not done right. Download from subuntu.org. It's a solid choice for users wanting Ubuntu's ecosystem without the slowdown. Moving on to Bodhi Linux. This distro has a special charm built around the Moksha desktop environment, which is a fork of the classic Enlightenment window manager. Moksha is lightweight, highly configurable, and focuses on elegance without compromising speed. It's one of the quickest desktops out there for low-end systems. Bodhi is based on Ubuntu LTS for stability, but its minimal approach means fast boots and responsive performance even on hardware from a decade ago. Unique features include right-click desktop menus for quick app launchers and window shading, double-click a title bar, and the window rolls up like a shade. Great for multitasking. It comes with a small set of apps to keep things clean, but you can easily add more via the package manager. Users love its beauty and efficiency. Though it might take a bit to get used to if you are coming from Windows or Mac OS. Recent reviews note its speed on 32 bit systems too. You can freely download at bodhilinux.com. Perfect for those who want a fast, artistic OS. Now, finally, Puppy Linux. This isn't just one distro, it's a family of lightweight Linux variants, often based on Ubuntu. Debian or Void Linux, all sharing a Puppy philosophy of being small, fast, and versatile. Puppy is a famous for running entirely in RAM after booting, which makes it incredibly quick for tasks like browsing or file management, especially on old 32-bit or 64-bit machines. Its small footprint under 300 MB for some versions means super fast startups, and it's great for USB bootable setups. It uses its own Puppy Package Manager, which is PPM, for installing software from repositories. And variants like Fosa Pup or Bionic Pup cater to different needs. Pre-installed tools are basic but functional. A web browser, text editor, media player, and more. Tech sites lists it among the top lightweight options for reviving ancient PCs. One downside, some apps are version specific, so check compatibility, download the latest from puppylinux.com website. There you have it, these 5 options prove that free doesn't mean slow. Whether you are experimenting with Redox OS for cutting edge speed or sticking with something reliable like Puppy Linux. They are all excellent for testing on a spare machine. Remember, always back up your data before installing and start with a live USB to try them out risk-free. If you give one a go, drop your thoughts in the comments. What's the fastest OS you tried? Hit like if this helped. Subscribe for more tech guides and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.